I'd like to make a comparison for our viewers of our Iconoclast support boots for horses, comparing the Brand X splint boot for a horse's leg. We've got our Iconoclast support boots on, as you can see on the left front leg of this horse. Now I'm gonna put on a splint boot to show you the difference so you can see them side by side. And if you all understand, splint boots are made to protect the horse from impact to the splint bones. That's why they have extra padding around the boot body in this area, this region where the splint bones on the horse's legs are. We put this on around the way we do any horse boot. Then we come to the bottom sling strap and we pull it around and we pull it up thinking that we can offer some sort of support or benefit to that horse's anatomy, but it really doesn't. It's just there to secure the bottom of the splint boot. A support boot has two straps, one opposing the other to pull up on the base of the fetlock in order to give the horse support. The splint boot has a single strap that comes around the leg and attaches back to the boot body, but it can only pull from one direction, so it can't support the sesamoidal region for the horse's leg. 360 degrees, it just flat doesn't work. We want to show you what happens to splint boots versus support boots when the horse is in motion. So we're going to point out a couple of different things as we go through this. When the support boot, the Iconoclast support boots, the double sling straps attach to the base of the horse's fetlock so that it secures it 360 degrees when the horse's fetlock depresses so that it contains it, saves it from hyperextension as the horse moves forward. What I want to show you is what happens when the horse travels what we're gonna see is that with Iconoclast boots, we have two layers of fabric from double sling straps and fabric from the boot body, which gives us actually 18 millimeters because our boot body is six millimeters thick. We have 18 millimeters of neoprene rubber here supporting and, and stabilizing the fetlock at the base. When it travels, this material does not leave the base of the fetlock. That's something that happens with the Brand X splint boots because they're not support boots, they're made protect the splint bones of a horse's legs. The support boot stays in place, does its job. There's no way dirt's gonna get up underneath this material as the horse goes through his work. So it's an impossibility. It just forms fits to the horse's anatomy. And so we can't get dirt up under it like you can on a boot that'll expose the horse's fetlock during motion. Looking at Brand X splint boot, what we're gonna find when we watch the horse walk is that right here, even though we have a sling strap, it does secure the boot to the horse's leg, but it doesn't provide support. One of the obvious things that we can tell is that this strap, this sling strap to the base of this boot is two millimeter neoprene. And so it can't give enough beneficial stabilization to the base of that fetlock, even if you wanted to. It couldn't do it because there's no real uh, bulk to the material. There's nothing here, it's, it's softer than a rubber band. So anyway, putting it on, we're gonna put it on as it's supposed to be put on. And we're gonna secure it to the leg and then when we walk this horse, you'll notice that the base of this boot, right here at the bottom of the fetlock is gonna open up. And you can see, you can slide your finger up under here just as far as you wanna go. And that's where your dirt's gonna get in. It's just gonna push up in there at will. And you'll have a really dirty underside within just a few strides. When we watch the splint boot at this design. When the horse takes a step forward, the base of the splint boot actually departs from the base of the fetlock, leaving it free or unassisted or unsupported as the horse strides forward. So it really is of no benefit from support. It's a great protection boot, just doesn't support the horse's leg.